skidink, 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 skidoosh! Welcome back to the channel, Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. Gonna crack open these Corsair 2020 theme booster packs and uh, see what's inside, of course. That's what we do around here. But the question is, should you buy this? Should you buy this? These are $7.49. They have done this before in Dominaria. They have done this before with uh, Ravnica. But here's what you're looking at. Choose your color. We got red here. Enhance your red deck with 35 cards from Corset 2020, including at least one rare or mythic rare card. I guess the odds of pulling double rare or double mythic or whatever out of one of these is roughly 1 in 10. So that could happen. Also, got some mail here from Alex Johnson, K. Mason, and Eric Burge. I think I'm saying that right. Appreciate you guys sending that out. We will get to that in a bit. Very sorry about the fan mail, as it is way far behind. I think one of these date back as far as April, which uh, my apologies, but I don't know. It's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, guys. I do apologize. All right. So these theme packs, is it worth it? Should you buy this for $7.49 plus tax? All right. I guess you get one of these little on your turn things, little rule book thing about bobbers. No table required. How about that? All right. Starting things off. Looks like we got some commons, uncommons. I'm going to separate the piles and commons and uncommons and just see how much value is inside of one of these. You guys got to help me. Some of these uncommons are worth a little bit. They're worth a bit more than, um, you know, some of the other uncommons and whatnot. So we're really trying to see what kind of value is up inside of here. That is the ultimate goal. Heart Piercer Bow. Interesting card. Every equipped creature attacks. Heart Piercer Bow deals one damage to target creature defending player controls. I'm not sure, man. That that doesn't work the same way, though, because Heart Piercer Bow is dealing the one damage. I wish the creature was dealing the one damage. You know, that would be really cool. Because then your Death Touch, you attack with a card with Death Touch, boom, you know, you get some. But I don't think that's how it works. Fry is probably the number one, uh, one of the number one. Well, it's up there. No, one of the number one. There can only be one. But Fry's definitely up there in uh, sideboard cards. And uh, as you can see from Corset 2020, there's a lot of sideboard action going on here. Always like the artwork on that one. This card seems to keep getting reprinted. They will never stop. Manifold Key, great card because it untaps another target artifact. But it cannot untap itself, which is kind of a downside there. Target creature can't be blocked this turn as well. Pretty cool. Maybe I should use that in a build. I could see that being kind of fun. Destructive Digger, Goblin Ringleader. Great card that was reprinted. I think more so uh, people are happy for Modern with it. But yeah, um, it's a good card, though, because it basically tutors up some more goblins for you. Pretty pretty nifty, man. Scorch Spitter made a Conclave uh, uh, deck with this, and it's pretty nasty. Go back to the videos. Along with Chandra's uh, Spitfire, you can get this thing so pumped up and do a lot of damage with it. It is ridiculous. Stone Golem, Flame Sweeper, Chandra's Ember Cat, another Shock. A lot of Shocks in this one. Pretty cool. Rapacious Dragon. There you go. Oop, that's an uncommon. And we're down to the nitty-gritty on this one. Got the Chandra Novice Pyromancer. There you go. And a Lavakin Brawler, followed by Leyline of Combustion. All right, that is not bad at all. Oh, double rare. First pack, baby. First pack, double rare. Icon of uh, Ancestry and Leyline of Combustion. This is a really good card also if you're just looking to use... Uh, anything tribal. If you're running tribal, throw this up in there. And uh, yeah, they're all getting plus one, plus one, baby. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. And then you can tutor up a card. Dig, uh, pay three and then dig three deep and pull one out, put it in your hand. Pretty cool. So that was pretty neat. Really good pack there. I'd have to say that was a really good pack. Um, also, I did not get these all from the same place. Craziness. I know. I actually had to go to a couple different places because they didn't have certain colors. So these things uh, are kind of selling. They're selling pretty good. Oh, my God. Don't steal. Bad things will happen to you. Pound Town Penitentiary, riding the F truck into prison. You don't want that. Don't steal, guys. All right? Don't steal. I like this little these little sleeves on these two. Pretty neat. So the first pack definitely was cool. We probably broke even on the first pack. Now we got up another one, the blue. What is inside of blue? What will be our blue rare? So many questions we're going to have answers for in a minute here. And look at the pile of uncommons and commons. They're just stacking up here. This is nuts. I need a new table. 
If anyone wants to send me a new table. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I do need a new table, though. It's pretty bad. Um, I'm using a plastic table right now to, to do all this on. You guys should see. I should do a video of my setup. I think you guys would be blown away. Uh, Cloud can see her. Pretty sweet. Sleep paralysis. I do. I've had that before where your whole body just gets like froze and you can't move or do anything. Like it is crazy. Like I was able to look around the room, but I was not able to move. That ever happened to you? That is crazy, man. And some people suffer from it a lot more than others. It happened to me, I think, twice in my life. Pretty nuts stuff, man. Ooh, the second time. There it is. The second time was not as scary. The first time was terrifying because I didn't understand what was happening to me. Um, Moat Parana is cool artwork on that. Get a load of that guy, man. He is having fun in life, huh? Evolving Wilds, hands down, best card in the entire set. Glad they finally printed a card like that. Very, very good stuff there. Convolute, convolute, convolute. Con um, I've actually had this used against me before in matches. Not fun. Octotrophit, that looks weird. Uh, enters the battlefield. Scry 2, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, yeah, sealed, sure. Unsummon, glad it's back. Negate as well. Ooh, that stuff, man. These elemental builds can be nasty. This one I'm not so sure about, though. It's a, it's pretty cool. 4-4, four, four, and it's got a little you know, trigger. Enters the battlefield, return another creature you control to someone's hand. So kind of, almost about a semi-bounce, more like a return to your hand. Anticipate is back up in this. Scuttlemutt. How about Scuttlebutt? Well, you can add one mana of any color, and then target creature becomes the color of your choice until end of turn. How about them apples? Not bad. That's something. You can make it uh, into um, something that, uh, no, I don't know what you could do with that, honestly. At least in this, in standard right now. I'm not sure what all benefits you could do with that. Vial of Dragonfire. Uh, sacrifice deals two damage. Pretty cool. Yeah, the one six fortress grab. If only the thing was like three to cast. Oh man, see a heck ton of play, and those uh, wall decks would get some life into them. Am I right? Real elemental, beautiful artwork on this as well. Very big fan. Sprites. This is uh, a card that's seeing a little bit of play, and, and when fairies really hit the scene, I'm sure this card will see a bit more play. The Raptor, flying in first strike. I kicked butt and took numbers with this card uh, in sealed events. Prismites, pretty cool. Ah, the cloud seer, the cloud kin seer. Gotta love the auras. All right, target creature against flying until end of turn. Eh, probably not really that great of a card. That's uh, that's not really good at all. Uh, bone to ash, especially if you're in blue, you already have a lot of creatures with flying. Counter target creature spell, draw a card. All right, winged words, fortress crab again, air elemental, aether guest. Oh! Smack me in the right testy. Oh, my God. Y'all broke the desecrated. Ah! Man, what a great... Now, this has been a phenomenal opening so far. Oh, my gosh, guys. Yark the desecrated. Nasty with a death touch and lifelink. Uh, if a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers additional time. This card's going to be nuts, and a lot of people are going to be playing this in Brawl. Also Commander, of course, but Brawl for sure. Oh, my gosh. And we got an old arena card here. Advertising arena with no code. I do apologize. So, wow. We are off to the races, am I right? We are doing really good. This is, uh, was not expected to do this well so far. Things are on the up and don't steal. Bad things will happen. I told you about that. Come on, guys. Get it together. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Can we, can we open a pack? All right. This is white right here. Let's see what we can pop out of the white one. What will we get? Get rid of these filler cards. Not really a fan of those. All right. Moment of heroism. These pacifism. Printed for the billionth time ever. Angel of Vitality. Still trying to make this work in an angel deck, but really it's like a one or two of, you know. Because if, if it comes out as a two, two, that sucker's getting shocked. We'll see ya. Unless you have something else out, like one of these guys that's pumping it, uh, your ancestry making it a one, you know, three three at least, but still it's getting struck by lightning. You know, things can happen. I don't know. Inspired charge, inspired. Real, uh, this is a fun card to just throw down as a bomb if you're running a bunch of, like a weenie deck or something. Disenchant. Domri, what are you doing there, bro? That is Domri, right? That looks. Is that not Domri? That's Domri as an angel. I'm just saying. The Colossus Hammer. This card's one of the better uncommons, believe it or not. Equipped creature gets plus 10, plus 10, and loses flying. I mean, it's pretty intense. Tap it, you gain one life. That's eh, not bad. You can, there's got to be a way to break that. 
You just keep on tapping it or something. There's got to be a way. Prick figure it out. Heart Piercer Bow again. Daybreak Champlain. There you go. Steadfast Sentry. This is everyone's favorite, like, lifelink budget card to use, I swear. The Sentry. Gauntlets of Light. That looks like a lot right there going on. Probably not worth playing. Glarus Aegis. Glaring Aegis. We can talk today, huh? Inspiring Captain up in here. The X. Moreland Inquisitor. Inspiring Captain. Is that anything? No. Probably not. Moreland Inquisitor. Pretty neat. The Salvager of Ruin. They should put some original cards in here. What do you guys think? Should they have thrown some like original like cards in here just to maybe help sell this? I'm not sure it's a huge sell in the stores, but it is pretty fun, especially if you're newer to Magic, or even if you just want to have a little bit of fun. Uh, grab one of these, you know, get your lands out and go to town uh, with one of your friends. Have some fun there, you know. Another Inspiring Charge, the Old Protector. Ancestral Blade. Enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token, then attach Ancestral Blade to it. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. It's just not that powerful, but it's something, though. Ah, the old angelic gift. An ox, a sentinel. Ooh, I think we have a land. Apostle of Purifying Light. There you have it. Evolving Wilds. Ah, oh, I can't get enough of your love, babe. Aerial Assault. Angelic Gift. And Starfield Mystic. This card definitely will probably see uh, a bit of a, spray, a, spray, a spike jump for sure down the road. I, I guarantee it. Starfield Mystic. Um, especially with the new set coming out. All right, we got Green Theme Booster. So white so far has been the weakest. <coughs> it is the weakest link. Goodbye. Let's see what's in here. Bright Wood Tracker. What a what can we expect out of Bright Wood Tracker? I'm also excited to see what's inside of these uh, inside of these packages over here. Thanks, guys, for sending them out. Woodland Champion. The Spider. Fun, great card, especially in elemental decks. If you're using to ramp up, you might as well run this sucker. Even outside of elemental builds, if you're running a bunch of creatures, I mean, you get twice the amount of mana when you tap this thing. Pretty cool. Overcome, just like overrun. Remember that? Creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and gain trample until end of turn. Only this thing, I think they cost the same, but overrun's like plus three, plus three, and trample. It's really, I don't know. I don't know why they do that. I've seen people using this and uh, having it uh, deal damage and then just <laughs> killing someone with it. Uh, using one of the little trick cards in here. I wonder if they have it. I'll point it out. Might of the Masses. Didn't realize that was reprinted already, but it was. How about that? Brightwood Tracker. Another Sedge Scorp. The Raptor. Gift of Paradise. Great way to stay alive against Mono Red. For if only a short while. <laughs> if only a short while. Ferocious Pup. The Saddle. The old saddlebags. There you go. Corsair. Prismite. Another Tracker and a Corsair. Bond. Thrashing Bronodon. This car was like two, three bucks for a while. Uh, but then it got the reprint. It's probably like 50 cents, if that. It's probably going to really fall off here. Another Druid. So overall, not bad. I like that they include a lot of... Uh, I think they had more Uncommons uh, in the last two sets that they did of these than this one. I think the, the Commons was like doubled. Rabid Bite. Tarkwood you control deals damage. You can lose power to Tarkwood you don't control. That's something. Nature's End, the Vort's Claw, 7-7 seven, seven for 6. It's not too bad. Another Axe, Seasons of Growth. Fun card, but man, I tried using it in decks on Arena. I could never draw the thing. Even if I had four cards in there, I, I just never could draw it. It wouldn't, like, Arena's like, no, sorry, you're not allowed to play this card. Like, I thought it would be pretty decent or fun to include, but... Wake Root Elemental. Crazy card, but I just don't see it being that great. Uh, for five untapped target land, you control it becomes a 5-5 five, five elemental creature token with haste. It's still a land. Maybe. Maybe it can go off. I don't know. But that is our rare from the green packs. There you go. Can we get Mr. Soren in all of his glory? One way to find out. One way to find out. Don't steal! Soren will decapitate you and Drink your blood. You want that? No, I don't think you do, man. Don't steal. All right. Last theme booster pack. Seven bucks forty nine cents. See what's going on. Ooh, Sorcerer of the Fang. The Vampire of the Dire Moon. Great card for vampire builds, man. The Death Touch and Life Link. But really, that Death Touch, man. The combination of the two is just phenomenal. I must say. Heart Piercer Bow seems to be in every single one of these. Epicure of Blood. The Prismite. The Beaut. The Blood Burglar. People really had a, a lot of fun with this card. 
uh, during pre-release. As long as it's your turn, Blood Burglar has lifelink. I mean, but there's already cards out there that are 2-2 two, two and have lifelink for 2, so I don't really understand. Gruesome Scourger. Mother can love that face. That's about it. Barony Vampire. Bloodthirsty Aerialist. Amazing card. It's like... Um, what's his name? Uh, a Johnny. It's like a pride mate. It's like a Johnny's pride mate, but like better. I mean, it's argued, you know, which one's better, but... Uh, this one's in black. You gotta have two black to cast, you know. Maybe making a deck with the two of them would be pretty fun. I tried doing it. Hasn't taken off yet, guys. Sorcerer of the Fang. Thief. Mo Murder Mo. Alright. This guy. The old Blight Beetle. The old Beetle Beetle. Mmm. Gotta love the artwork of magic, am I right? Necromancer. Diviner's Lockbox. How about that? It could be something. Mind Rot. Been around... It's the beginning of time. Noxious Grasp, another great card to sideboard in and out of decks. Manifold Key, beautiful. Murder. Abomination. The Wand. Got to use that on people. Sometimes you just got to bust out the Harry Potter. Blood for Bones, seeing a lot of good play. Additional cast, uh, cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature. Return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's huge. Then return another creature card from your graveyard to your hand. There's some nasty reanimator tricks up in that, man. You can have a lot of fun with those kind of builds. Maybe I should do a deck on it. Perhaps. Got the Undead Servant. Indenture. That's right. Fathom. Duress. The Vengeful War Chief. Hey, it's another picture of that guy. He is not happy, man. Whenever you lose life for the first time each turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Vengeful War Chief. Not bad. Dread Presence. It looks like we're going out with a Dread Presence. That is going to end it for this. Well, overall, I mean, I don't know if I got my money back out of it, but... Uh, definitely playable, fun. you got to have lands, though, to go with this, you know, if you're going to do anything. But as long as you got the lands, I mean, you can have some fun when you, each of your buddies goes ahead and picks one up. Would you guys get one of these based off what you've seen in this video? By all means, please let me know. Uh, I think I might go back to it, you know, if I was looking to get something for me and a friend. Um, if we're out in, like, uh, the middle of nowhere in the wilderness, you know, and uh, all we had was each other and a campfire and Kumbaya to sing. I might do it then. I, I might. I just might. I got to pull this back. This came from Alex Johnson. Alex Johnson, appreciate you sending this out. My ninja. Let's see what's up inside of here. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Jansen, Mr. Jansen. Make sure there's no return address. Doesn't look like it. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know if I could do this. I, 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 J Johnson, I'm not going to do it, man. But I will do something else. Skadoosh, favorite ninja. Joey, your videos are the highlight of my day. And they help me get through the torment that is 8th grade. I understand. Anyway, my favorite videos are the ones where you blow stuff up. Cuff of Tarmogoyf. Yeah, that did happen. So I want you to recreate that today. There are six packs. And you roll a dice to select one. Then pick another one. If you would be so kind, please slice and dice the chosen packs, preferably loudly. You can keep the rest for yourself, or you can give them away to your patrons. With love, Alex Johnson. Alex Johnson, thank you, thank you very much. Let's see what we got up in here. So here's our packs. I will need a six-sided die, which I just do not have. We like to have fun here on Bad Boy Gaming. like to mix things up a bit. You know what, Johnson? I'll honor your request. You know why? Because I am one crazy SOB, and we like to have fun here at Bad Boy Gaming. All right, we got to find uh, a six-sided die. Um, I have a few dice here. Here we go. There we go. We found one. All right. All right, rolling it up. Who's going to get destroyed? Three! Lucky number three is going to Pound Town. Put that sucker aside. All righty. These are going over here. Skidink. Oh, boy. Johnson, better be good. Here we go. Why is he doing this? No, 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 no. Don't ever destroy a box top or Tarmogoyf. You'll regret it. And a one, and a two. And a skadoosh. Oh, man, brutal. Right down the middle. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to put that to the side and find out what's in there in just a moment. In the meantime, let's see what's all inside of here. Oh, no, we taped them. They're going to take an hour to open each one. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. There we go. Number one. Oh, Guild Mages Forum. And the Forbidding Spirit. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, my friends. Not too shabby at all. What else? Come on. Number deuce. Lion's Eye Diamond. 
and the Evolving Wilds. I'm glad we did not destroy a Lion's Eye Diamond. I'm assuming this has to be... This has to be fake. Yeah, it's got to be one of those. It's got to be fake. Yeah, you can tell by the darkness. But good try, my friend. Very good try. If that's a real... Mar let, me, let me just feel this. Something feels off about it. What do you guys think? Is that, that can't be real. If that's a real lion's eye diamond, and that is in really, really good shape, I'm blown away by it. I mean, the centering's off, but that can't be. That's a good job, though. If that's a fake, that is a really good job. What do you guys think? I have no idea. I have no idea. That is insanity, though. That is insanity. Oh, boy. Number four. That's hard to say. If you get really close, you can see, like, the pixelation. Let's see. The camera picks it up. Are we picking up the little, whatever you call it, the little pixelations on there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. Guys, I'm lost right now. I'm not sure if that's right or not. Maze of Ith. That one does look legit. Which makes me question if the lion's eye diamond is real. Um, I feel like, yeah, these have, oh, similar. Let's check in the backs. You're throwing me through a loophole here, young man. This does appear real. TM looks more dark. I can't, yeah, I'd have to say these are not, these can't be real. I don't think so. No, I don't believe so. But that's a maze of if. It, it feels slightly different, but not a whole lot. I got to say, they can't be real, though. They can't be real. If they are, Alex, you're a crazy person, my friend. But Alex, definitely let me know what's going on with these cards here. What's going on with these cards? Crucible of Worlds and a Razor Tooth or Rats coming at us. This, I just... Because I really don't want to let fake cards out into the uh, the world. Yeah, they, they're all, they all have the same kind of, like, printing job. I would have to say, yeah, these are all a bunch of... these are Yeah, these are knockoffs. That's okay, though. That's okay. We have fun around here. Number six coming at us. Let's see what's in here. So, yeah. Oh, I can tell now. Uh, Sliver Legion. Great card. Great card. And new blood. Yes. One is real. One is not. But the backing kind of gives it away. You can tell by the color here. Now I'm really seeing it. You can definitely tell by the color. Faker, a real guy. Color gives it all away. Pretty nifty, though. But I will I will give all these away to uh, somebody. Um, yeah, share this video. Definitely, somewhere on social media. Give it a like. Um, for sure, I'll give... Uh, <laughs> this will go out to a patron. And uh, these right now... Actually, these two will go out to a patron. And uh, this, this, this... And that is all going to go out to someone, and I'll put my uh, John Hancock on it and give it out to someone, the old signature. And yeah, um, tell me, uh, what's, your, what's your favorite kind of video I make? That's all I want to know. What do you guys like? What do you like to see? What's your favorite video you saw on the channel? How about that? And uh, one of you, I'll pick it random within a week, and you're going to take home all four of these cards right here. Pretty nasty. So definitely. Uh, Got to be subscribed as well, and hit that bell button and the like button. Got to do a few things there, but not really a whole lot, honestly. Thank you very much for sending that out, playa. We got Eric Burge up next. I'm running out of time on this. Eric Burge, thanks for sending this out. Playa, appreciate you. A little bit of this. All right. This was a little open. This was a little a little late, but it's my fault. Happy birthday, Joey. Here is uh, you a few cards to open a video. Hope you enjoy them. There is one altered swamp included. I like altars. I do, I do, I do, man. Thank you very much, Eric, for sending this out, player. Let's see what's up inside of here. Where are my scissors? Why are they never handy? There we go. Come on, baby. Crack it open just a little bit. Oh, whoa. We are starting things off really good here. Holy crap. Okay. Give it the old flipperoo. Oh, my God. The ser oh, gosh, dang, dang, dang. That is ridiculous, man. I love this card. I, I love the artwork on it. I don't have one, so that's friggin' sweet. Banishing Light Foil. Gross. Bile Blight. These are all, like, promos. What are these from? This is sick, man. 
Eric, you are you are friggin' sweet. I love Ultimate Price. One of my favorite removal cards. Whip of Erebos, another nasty, nasty card. I wish I had time to go over all these right now. The timer's running out, though. Coral Merfolk. Oh, my God. Quilled Slagworm up in this piece. That is gross. I'm going to save um, Mason. I love you, buddy. I'm going to save you for another video so I can get this on a little bit. Because um, I don't want the time to run too. It'll just kill up, cut off the video. Actually, it's about to kill right now. Okay. I'm going to have to start recording again. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> Quilled uh, Slagworm up in here. Nasty card. Dread Return. The Dreaded Return. Got all that skull. I have no clue what all these are from. If anyone knows, we'll leave it in the comments. Cinder Elemental. Black Oak of Odunas. Zombie Tree Folk. Exhum. Get a load of that. When times are rough. Exhum. <laughs> Holy crap. Mar Mar Marcadian, Marcadian Bazaar. That is just nuts. Like, seriously? Get a load of that art. Get a load of that border. That is crazy. Old school pain and suffering. Just the names of these cards. Pain and suffering. Subterranean hanger. Man, that th this is going into binders. I love how they look. I don't care if it's five cents. I don't care if it's a hundred bucks. It's going into a binder. These are gorgeous. Just love the old school borders on these cards. Trevor's ruins. Uh, this is to its land types is a layer in addition to it's a liar in addition to each other land types. Uh, it comes into play, sacrifice it unless you return a non layer land you control to owner's hand. Add one of those three to your mana pool. Not bad. Sulfur vent. Man, these are gorgeous, Eric. This is nasty, man. These are really, really sweet. Birds are crazy with it, man. Sulfur vent. Oh my god. Oh Croesus's catacombs. That is so nasty. I can't say enough good things about these cards right now. I mean, I don't know what I don't know what's going on. Tranquility, destroy all enchantments. Gorgeous. Urborg Upspring. For sure, man. The black border was one of my favorites too, just because it just looks looks so nasty. Dragon Arc. Put a multicolored creature card from your hand into play. It'll make them like they used to, boys. Got the Grave Digger from 7th. Foul Presence. 7th. Uh, those are really highly collectible, the 7th edition ones. Foul Presence. Oh, no. What? All right. Uh, slay. Destroy target green creature. It can't be regenerated. Draw a card. That should be for, like, two, and it should have a middle finger on it. Like, <laughs> uh, Necro Sanctuary. No, that's cool artwork. I like the gate in the background. That's the beginning of your upkeep. If you control... A green or white permanent target player loses one life. If you control a green permanent and a white permanent, that player loses three life instead. Oh my god. Unholy strength. Oh, that guy. Oh, that guy. Some of here to have a little bit of fun. All right. <laughs> Suppress. Suppress. Is that Urza? It looks like Urza chilling there in uh, the maze of Ith. Is that what's going on there? It, it seems that way. Yeah. He's about to be decapitated by Gerard. What a jerk. Dark Steel Citadel Foil. Distorting lens from Mercedian masks, 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 Mercedian masks. Target party becomes the color of your choice until end of turn. Deuce to bring out. Forsaken city. These are really, really breathtaking. This alone gives me it. Like, I'm, I'm hitting the thumbs up button myself. And one man of any color to your mana pool. Wow. It doesn't untap during your untap step, though. Remove a card from your hand from the game. Oh. The price you pay. Battle of Wits. That is sweet. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 200 or more cards in your library, you win the game. <laughs> Redunculous. Something's going on here. Don't know what, but it's pretty cool. And it looks nasty. That's all I know. Some kind of merfolk action there. Doubling cube foil. Holy crap. Now that's a nasty card, man. That is a really nasty card. Double the amount of each type of mana in your mana pool. That is insane. That can get used and abused easily and then untap it. Cranko, my boss, of course. And the Altered Swamp. Now that, my friends, is pretty and gnarly. Get a load of that. Looking gorgeous. That is sweet. Good artwork on that, man. 
You did good. You can tell there was a lot of detail. You took your time on this. Very nice. Very nicely done, Eric. Very nicely done. I appreciate it, man. Case it, or, uh, Mason, I'm getting around to you, buddy. Uh, next video. And I'll uh, include someone else, too, as well. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Make sure you punch that like button on the way out. I hope your time here was fun. Excuse yourself. Almost forgot this. Almost, but not quite. Grown from the ashes was destroyed. And the removed soul. Remove soul. There you have it. So grown from ashes and remove soul. Were butchered. From starter. Good card from back in the day. Appreciate you sending these out, homie.